What's up, Nick fans? All right, I am Victor Hatchiba from Nick Fans Brazil channel. Today, again, again, Bill Piro from MSG Network in this channel. Welcome, welcome to the Nick Fans Brazil channel, Bill. Thank you, Victor. It's uh, great to be with you. It's always great to be on with you. How are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, I, I miss the NBA. I miss so much NBA. Uh, see the Knicks. I want to see the Knicks play, man. <laughs> well, I don't know if you saw, but the preseason schedule is out. First preseason uh, is October 4th, and it looks like reportedly the Knicks are going to be playing on Christmas Day against Philadelphia. So that's what we know for sure. And I think yes. the rest of the schedule is coming out here in the next couple of days. So we'll, we're, we're, we're gearing up soon, you know? Ah, I want so much. <laughs> See you again, the Knicks. Uh, first question, Bill. Uh, I saw your interview uh, with uh, Jalen Brunson. Congratulations. I love this interview. Uh, and I, I want né, your opinion. Uh, what... Uh, What's your expectations with Jalen Brunson in Knicks? All right. So I think, uh, Victor, and, and everybody who's watching, I think he's a winner. He was on two Villanova teams that won the national championship. He was a player of the year in college in 2018. He's somebody that I think people underrate. And, and as he got his opportunity in Dallas, he started to get better and better and better. And, and in the playoffs this past spring, he was fantastic, averaged over 20 points a game. He's got great ties to the Knicks franchise. We know his dad is a, a former Nick player, current Knicks assistant. Uh, Brunson goes also way back with uh, Leon Rose because Leon Rose represented Jalen Brunson's father when Jalen Brunson's father was a player. So I just think it, it all fits. Uh, we all hope, fingers crossed, the Knicks finally have a point guard that they can depend on. Victor, it's unbelievable. You go back to 2009, one Nick point guard has started more than one opening nights. Yes. One. You know, that is Raymond Felton. Raymond Felton is the only point guard since 2009 to start more than one opening night game. Now, think about that. Think how many wow. point guards this team has gone through. And I think Brunson, he's, he's a competitor. He plays hard. I think he's going to be a great fit. Uh, I, I think, too. Uh, and Isaiah Hartenstein. What's your expectations about the center? So what's interesting to me is that unlike the centers that we've seen during the Tom Thibodeau era, Hardenstein can play away from the basket. You know, we know Mitch, Noel, Jericho Sims, you know, Taj Gibson, I guess you could say, could hit a three once in a while. But Hardenstein's strength is pulling the defense away from the basket. And I think that's going to be important because when you look, Victor, at this team, Barrett likes to drive, Brunson likes to drive, Randall likes to drive. Yes. Uh, Mitch, when he's in there, clogs things up. I think it's going to be a good thing with Hartenstein and his ability to space the floor. I think that could be very important. Uh, uh, as Isaiah uh, can be uh, important uh, because Jalen Brunson and uh, R.J. Barrett he likes né, infiltrations. Now, Isaiah uh, Hartenstein, in my opinion, uh, can be open space uh, for these players. Uh, what should you think about this? I think that's important because you got RJ, Randall, and Brunson all like mm -hmm. to drive. Yes. Mitch, the low post center. Jericho Sims, when he's in there, is a low post center. I think spacing the floor overall is going to be a big challenge for this team to create enough space. For all these guys that like to drive, to drive. Fournier yes, yes. Uh, is going to be important. Hopefully he has a, a really good year shooting the ball. Um, so I, I think it's uh, going to be real important for them to try to space the floor to give these guys enough room to do what they like to do, and that's go to the basket. Ah, we sure. Uh, and Donovan Mitchell, Bill. I want, I want your opinion about uh, this player because uh, in offseason, it's the, the, the biggest rumor né, uh, with the Knicks. Uh, what's your opinion about uh, this case? So I would trade for Donovan Mitchell uh, if it costs you a number of draft picks. That doesn't bother me. 
Uh, to me, the draft, as Alan Hahn, who you talked to in the past and I work with all the time, calls a draft and draft picks, it's the currency of hope. It gives fans hope, but the reality is a lot of times these picks don't materialize. So if you're going to give up a four or five number one picks and get Donovan Mitchell back, I have no problem with that. Now, the question is, if you have Brunson, Mitchell, and RJ, does that work? That's interesting. Uh, I don't want to part with I, – I'd give them maybe Grimes uh, and or Obi and, and draft picks. I don't want to give them Grimes quickly and Obi. Uh, and I, hopefully they can hold on to R.J. Barrett. So if it's O.B. and Grimes and four number one picks, I say do it. Me too, man. Me too. I agree with you. Uh, in this case, nah, I, I think he, I think he's uh, the same with you about the Donovan Mitchell. I joking nah, with the Donovan Mitchell. It, it will be important to the Knicks because... Uh, uh spider-man 4 <laughs> yeah. and soon to new york marvel will love this movie <laughs> advertising yeah you know oh. you know as you know he's uh, his dad works for the mets he grew up in westchester which is a suburb of new york uh he's a new yorker and i, I think it would be yes. great for him i don't know that they're going to get this done uh soon uh but i would think that by the time training camp rolls around in late September, we're going to know one way or the other. Yes. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, uh, together, uh, Jalen Brunson, this team uh, will be so much, so much, uh, so more, sorry, creative. Nah? But uh, so many people talking about defense. Uh, in your opinion, uh, what do you think about uh, the defense uh, with the Knicks? Uh, Donovan Mitchell coming uh, to the Knicks playing with uh, Jalen Brunson. See, the problem, I think, Victor, on defense would be that Mitchell and Brunson are both relatively small. I yes. thought Mitchell was taller. He's only 6'1". I thought he was taller than that. He's not. So if you got Mitchell at 6'1 and Brunson at 6'6'1", that could be a challenge against a lot of the big guards. I could see why that would be a concern. So that's something definitely uh, to, to potentially worry about, but I think that would be offset by uh, their ability to score. Ah, uh, and the, uh, your in your opinion, uh, Julius Randle uh, will be better with, with uh, Jalen Brunson in the next season. See, the one thing that we need to watch as Knicks fans, and it comes down to uh, talking about RJ Barrett as well: how many shots do RJ and Randle need to take to get their scoring? R.J. Barrett averaged 20 a game last year, but his efficiency went down, meaning he needed a lot more shots to accomplish that. Yes. Randall, in his excellent year, had a career year from three at over 40%. This past year, closer to his career average from three, a little over 30%. To me, the key for Randall's game is that he's able to hit the outside three. When you look at his career numbers, Victor, only one year, the year before last, was he really good from three. So we'll see. Randall had open threes, regardless of who played with him last year, that he missed. Hopefully this year he'll make those shots. Yes. Uh, and the, la the last question, Bill. Uh, what's your expectations with the Knicks, uh, with Jalen Brunson, this team now, uh, without né, Donovan Mitchell? And your opinion, this team, né, New York Knicks, with the, the Donovan Mitchell together. So I don't know if you guys look at the odds from Vegas, Victor, but the Vegas set the Knicks over under at 39 and a half wins. I think uh, with or without Donovan Mitchell that they're going to win more than 39 and a half games. Yes. If they win only 39 games, that means they're only two games better than last year. The last year they went 37 and 45. So I, my prediction, with or without Mitchell, I say they're around 500, let's say 43 and 39, 41 and 41. And I say that they are, whether or not they're in the plan or not, I say that they will make the first round of the playoffs. Yes. Uh, that would, too, be, that uh, would be a step forward, right, uh, making the playoffs. I was really surprised that Vegas had them only at 39 and a half. I, th I think, yes. gonna, don't you think they're going to be better than that? Uh, I, I think so. I think, I think uh, I, I, the Knicks will be better nah, 
with the, the the younger players i i i i believe so much uh in oh grimes don't don't go now nah. grimes i think it's a very good player for, uh, from the knicks for for me it's better uh comparative with uh fournier for example fournier out from the bench now nah. uh three points in these games uh will be important but uh I, I like so much uh, Kenton Grimes because Kenton Grimes is it's so good in defense. Nah? It's so good in defense and uh, so good uh, in attack. Nah? Então, I, so, I, I think uh, Grimes, uh, Donovan Mitchell, don't come to the Knicks. Nah? Grimes stay in the Knicks. I, I believe in, in the it's a young car, young car from the Knicks, it's it's a uh, very good players, very good players. Uh, in my opinion, okay, my opinion. I think it's really important also to have a healthy uh, Derrick Rose. I, I think mm. him getting hurt last year was one of the big problems. Uh, was banged up and then was shut down uh, after the surgery in, in late December. We all know how important he is, especially at the end of games. I think a healthy Derrick Rose is going to be really important to this team. Uh, Derek Rose uh, uh, support so much, né? Emmanuel Kikley, Obi Topping, né? In the, the last season, uh, uh, Derek Rose, it's a great player. Uh, and uh, will, it will be imp important né? from these younger players, too. I like so much Derek Rose, Bill. I like so much Derek Rose. Me, too. And, too. And uh, uh, you know, hopefully quickly and top and pick up where they left off at the end of last season. We talked about Hardenstein, and then you have um, Grimes, Rose, quickly, OB. It's a pretty good second unit. And then, you know, right now, I think Reddish probably would not be in the top 10. He's someone else that might be able to help them. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see if Reddish is able to make the rotation. We know that, um, that Coach Tibbs only plays 10 players. So right now, I think Reddish might be 11. Uh, uh, Bill, I, I I believe so much in this team in the next this season. Uh, 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 a little, né? year to year, uh, I I believe the Knicks will be a contender in three or four or four years, in my opinion. I I, I miss so much, Bill. Knicks are uh, contender. Knicks. <laughs> Uh, I, I talk you know, with you in backstage, man. I, I miss so much, Nick's Great, great again, you. <laughs> well, it's coming, it's coming soon. So we'll get together. We should, we should do this again once the season starts. How's that? Yes, yes. We share, we share. Bill, uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Uh, again in this channel, uh, great, great honor received, man you in this channel i like so much i like you so much né? and uh i hope né, see you alan everybody in new york soon well that would be fantastic i hope you have a great rest of the summer it's always great to talk to you thank you for having me on we'll talk to you soon okay okay man thanks so much okay. take bye. care bro bye bye buddy. bye bye e aí pessoal este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal nick fans brasil Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Unifens Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Unifens Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos. E também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não, para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço! I do, are you down with the orange and the blue? I'm a Nick fan.